to Helicopter Lessons in 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jacob, and this video expands on hover work by covering different types of the hovering turns. But before we begin, be sure to hit like and subscribe if you're enjoying the channel so far. But one of the beautiful parts about flying a helicopter is just being able to hover in place. You can go up, down, left, right, whichever direction that you want. Uh, you can turn this thing around to get set up for any other kind of follow-on maneuvers. But in this video, I want to outline the three ways that you can do pedal turns specifically and the ways that these can uh, or don't do or don't make sense. Now, the first type of turn is by far the most common. It's what you get taught in flight school, and that is a turn about the mast. Now, a turn about the mast, <clears throat> the helicopter just turns in place using the mast or the center of the rotor as a pivot point. It looks something like this. So let's say I have a helicopter and it's just sitting in place here. See, so I've got the rotor blades. And now I just want to do a pedal turn. So instead of facing this way, I want to face this way. While I'd apply right pedal, the tail would pivot around and then it would look something like this. And now we're facing uh, this direction. In calm winds, or winds, the pilot maintains neutral cyclic while applying a right uh, pedal to turn right or a left pedal to turn left. So we'll just say neutral on the cyclic and right slash left pedal. Pretty cut and dry, pretty easy. The benefit of this type of turn, or turn is that it's simple. It's easy to control. It doesn't take a lot of control inputs. It's the most basic type of helicopter turn that you can do. Now, the next type of turn is a turn about the nose. Now, when I say turn about the nose, imagine a pivot point being the nose itself or a point just right off the nose. It's gonna look something like this. So say I have a helicopter and in this example, let's say it's just sitting right here, there's the main rotor. And now I just wanna do a turn about the nose. Well, I might turn to say this position and I could even bring this thing all the way back around to this position. Let's say that's my main rotor and all of these. So I'm changing from this to this. I can do 90 degrees, 180 degrees, whatever I want. But in this type of maneuver, the nose stays in a fixed position, generally right there, either you're pivoting off the nose or just a point slightly in front of the nose. Um, but the entire helicopter pivots around that nose. To do this, you're gonna need opposing cyclic and pedal inputs. That is right cyclic with left pedal or left cyclic with right pedal. So let's say right cyclic, left pedal or the reverse. And that's gonna do say a counterclockwise rotation. Whereas if it, I do left cyclic, and right pedal, it's gonna be the reverse. All right, <clears throat> um, so when could you use this? Well, one reason could be if there was say a hazard or something in a, in a field that you're landing at. Say there's a tree or a metal stake or just something in the field that you want to reposition around, uh, keep eyes on it so that you can say reposition for takeoff. Well, by using this turn, you can keep the hazard right off the nose, in sight, away from your tail, away from your landing gear, while you're doing a hovering turn, and you can kind of guarantee clearance around it. Say you had a little stake or metal something in a field right here. I can keep eyes on that the entire time as I'm pivoting around. I'm not going to turn a blind eye to it in this pedal turn. Um, so another reason I like to do this is I can put, uh, give my uh, tail plenty of room, say if I'm doing a pedal turn at night, 180 degrees. Um, whereas if I turn about, about the mast, I'm constantly looking far left, far right, trying to find my obstacle that I'm avoiding. Whereas if I do a turn about the nose, I can kind of clear it initially by looking out the window and then focus on the object, make sure my main rotor and everything is clear and I can pedal turn away. It just reduces some of the workload, especially uh, using night vision systems. Uh, but I can keep everything right off the nose front and center. Now the last type of hovering turn that I'll cover in this video is gonna be a turn about the tail. And just as the name implies, um, this is a turn where imagine the tail rotor is the pivot point or it's a fixed position. It's gonna look something like this. So say I have my helicopter right here and I just want to say turn around to the, uh, to the right here where I'm moving like this and then maybe all the way back around. I can continue to turn this kind of poor drawing with uh, the spacing of the tail rotor there. But generally what this is gonna do is keep your tail rotor in a fixed position throughout the turn. And it uses non-opposing inputs. So right cyclic with right pedal for a turn to the right. And opposite uh, left cyclic, left pedal for a turn to the left. <clears throat> 
And now this turn can be used if you absolutely want to keep your tail rotor in the same spot while you turn around. Let's say there's a chain link fence or like a line of people or something right off the nose, some sort of hazard, and you just want to absolutely make sure that tail rotor stays still and goes nowhere near them. Because once again, tail rotors kill people every year from people just walking into them because they're unfamiliar with helicopters, they can't see them while they're spinning. Whatever it is, uh, if there's a reason that you want to keep the tail rotor in a fixed position, turn about the tail can do that. But I can pivot around the tail as an option to just guarantee that clearance. Um, so once again, three types of turns um, with the pivot points being the mass, the nose, and the tail. Uh, so lastly, I'm going to cover some tips on what to look for when you're doing pedaling, pedal turns. So some of the tips first is <clears throat> focus on where you want to go. So focusing on where you want to go. If I'm turning right, look to the right. If I'm turning left, look to the left. Clear the path of the fuselage and where the helicopter is going when you're doing this. Now in terms about the nose, you're generally going to scan to the side to figure out where you need to clear the, the fuselage, but then I'm going to shift focus to the nose or whatever it is, the obstacle. Second is if there are any kind of winds, put the cyclic into the winds. In all of these conditions um, above, these were neutral wind conditions. So if the wind is pushing you so from this direction, in all of these conditions, I'm going to have to give a little bit of forward cyclic, say in this condition, into the wind to offset that. But as I pedal turn around, it's going to transition to a left cyclic. In all the cases, I need to oppose the wind with the cyclic to maintain the constant ground track or with the preferred ground track that I want. So cyclic into the wind. Third, and I kind of cut myself off on a room here, but third is watch out for the LTE regions. If I'm doing any kind of pedal turns, especially if I'm OGE out of ground effect or my near my max torque available. I need to be cognizant of where the wind is so I don't get into a loss of tail rotor effectiveness. That's an uncontrolled spin that doesn't stop. If you're unfamiliar with loss of tail rotor effectiveness, I've got a whole video on it. I'll put a link in the description as well as above. Fourth is practice these maneuvers, um, preferably in an open field before you ever try to get to any kind of confined area. So if you notice when you're practicing that you, you have excessive drift in all of these maneuvers, you probably need to clean these up before you start getting into a tighter area with multiple obstacles around that you could risk hitting. So practice, 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 get used to these maneuvers, and then you could go try them in other uh, positions. But once again, that wraps up the video. Three different types of ways that you can pedal turn this aircraft using different pivot points. Each one has kind of pros and cons or where you would uh, use these versus where you wouldn't use it. But thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit like and subscribe. As always, I'm Jacob and this is Helicopter Lessons in 10 Minutes or Less. Safe flying.